BPC Boys Volleyball up next, a matchup between Freedom and Emmaus, a Freedom team that came in pretty hot, having won four in a row, and Emmaus, who started the season strong, a little bit of a hiccup as of late. Yeah, you mentioned the four straight victories for the Patriots, so they've been on fire. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Green Hornets, back-to-back -back wins, most recently a 3-1 to victory over Northampton. Those back-to-back -back wins coming on the heels of that 3-0 loss against Whitehall, Emmaus' only setback of the season. Take that game out for mm -hmm. the Green Hornets. They've lost only four sets in nine games outside of that one game. Trying to stay back in the win column last night against a Freedom team looking to extend their winning streak. Tom Mikrantz has a look back. You may have hosted Freedom Tuesday night in a key EPC volleyball matchup. The two teams had a combined three losses with one in common. Both were swept by conference front runner Whitehall. Zach Shea shines on the service line with two straight aces, helping the Pates take the lead in the first set. After falling behind by 10, Emmaus makes a brief run. Noah Zankovic with two kills to get the Hornets within five. But Freedom holds them off and takes the set 25 to 18 to put Emmaus, which never led, back on its heels. Emmaus led eight to seven in the second, then had the battle back from behind again. Owen Kennedy hits his spot as the Green Hornets gain momentum, nodding it up 23 all. But Brad Tarosi breaks the tie with a kill and an ace to clinch the 25-23 set win and put Freedom in great shape up two sets to none. The senior had 10 kills. Emmaus was determined to not let this match end in three and win the next three sets. Bryce Deal with a kill for the Hornets. The set was close until the final stages. Thomas Blair with the ace. Emmaus wins 25 to 17 to keep things going. Michael Morakovitz makes some key blocks early in the fourth as Freedom takes the lead. Kennedy and Deal lead an Emmaus comeback that saw the Green Hornets draw even at 24 all. But the match ends on two Emmaus unforced errors. Freedom wins 26 to 24 and the match 4-1 to one to break a long drought against Emmaus. I think it's been about 10 years since we've beaten Emmaus. Uh, we came out strong first set and second set, and then obviously the third set we dropped, and we got a few calls going our way in, in the fourth set, uh, and we you know squeaked that out. They had two set points. Uh, for the fourth set. It's just not Brad and David. It's the whole six, eight of us on the court. I mean, I stepped up and Orion Cruz stepped up. The rest of the team stepped up and we all helped each other out and supported one another. Winning that fourth set keeps the Patriots record intact of never having to go to a fifth in any match so far this season. We've played a lot of uh, games to five in the past. Like my sophomore and junior year, we took a lot of games to five, so we know what the pressure's like. But I mean, this year it's a different team, different vibe, but I mean, I mean, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We had a, a game plan against them, and, uh, you know, we did what we had to do at the right time, uh, you know, I guess I could say. Emmaus is now 9-2 and two in conference action, while Freedom is 8-2. and two. On the scene at Emmaus High School, Tom Mikrantz, 2 Sports. So make it five straight wins for the Patriots. They just keep on trucking, as Tom mentioned, now 9-2 and two in EPC action. It's worth noting both Emmaus and Freedom have already clinched berths in the District 12 mm -hmm. tournament. So obviously they're able to look ahead to that. EPC championships will come your way first in a couple of weeks. Uh, up next, Freedom is at Wyoming Valley West out of District 2 on Thursday, then at Tunkhannock on Friday before returning to league action against Nazareth on Monday. Meanwhile, a slightly lighter schedule for Emmaus. The Green Hornets are home against William Allen tonight. In Emmaus